Jay McPherson, 50 Lessons. There's three types of people in this world. There's people who make it happen. There's people who watch it happen. And there's people that just go, hey, what the hell just happened? The mind is like a parachute. It works best when it's open. In life, you have become all that you have thought about. To know and not to do is not to know. Wishes are fuzzy. Once you travel the journey and you feel if you've reached the end of the road, you will then see that the road only curves and there's so much more farther to go. More than 60% of people live less than 10 miles away from the hospital they were actually born in. Get out. Go live. Do more. Focus on the lowest hanging fruit. Make your next move your best move. See, life gives you a set of tools, a mind, a mind to think and create. Time, time to get from where you are to where you want to be. Space, space to see all around you and to protect yourself from harm. And energy, energy to feel the vibe and follow your gut. And last, life gives you infinite intelligence. God the universe, to make sure that you're always, always taken care of. Not to decide is to decide. He who thinks he can and he who thinks he can't are both usually right. Did you know that the brain named the brain? Life is 10% of what happens to me and 90% of how I react. Being poor is a state of mind. It is amazing what you can accomplish when you do not care who gets the credit. When your attitude is right, the facts don't count. Because what you think are facts and what other people think are facts are really just opinions. Live your life as if it were the last day on earth. Trust me, someday you'll be right. Money doesn't change you. It reveals you. You can guide a man to water, but you can't make him drink. One good goal to have in life is to fire your boss. Winning requires getting up off your affirmations. Are you making a living or are you making a life? He or she who controls a relationship loves the least. The best lessons in life don't always come the best ways. Most people tiptoe through life hoping to arrive at death safely. Whatever you want, wants you. Feel the fear and do it anyway. Hey, don't forget to breathe. Just so you know, your mind is outside of your brain. Follow your heart. Everything you're going through right now is preparing you for what you've already asked for. You have two ears and one mouth. Use them proportionally. Creativity is intelligence having fun. You get treated in life the way you train other people to treat you. If you're not leaning, no one will ever let you down. Luck is preparation meeting hard work. People who can't face drugs turn to reality. Only way to win is by being open to lose. He who laughs, lasts. Those who don't have goals work for those who do. If you think something outside of you is the problem, then you will look outside yourself for the answer. If you want to make an enemy, try to change someone. The time to relax is when you don't have time to. If you're thinking about doing something tonight that you're probably going to regret in the morning, please, sleep late. Never take life too seriously. You'll never get out alive. Don't worry about the world coming to an end today. It's already morning in Australia. Learn how to say hell nope politely. Addiction is having too much of something that you don't even need. Whatever the mind of man can conceive and bring itself to believe, he can't achieve. These are words and tools that I like to use and put in my head every day in order to keep me in the sweet spot and keep me in the, the zone. If you've made it this far to this audio, I really just want to give you a little bonus. I want to give you something extra that you can just feed on for a while. There's some simple basics in life that I think if you would just follow these simple basics, simple basics, you'll be able to get everything that you want in life. 
and more. You'll be able to help others. You'll be able to inspire your community, help your family, change the life of your friends, families, and lives of those who aren't even born yet. There's five basics. I know I talk about this. Maybe you've heard about these basics from my YouTube videos. Maybe you've listened to Trudeau. Maybe you've just read a lot, you know, but these are, this is what I live by right here. And I, I didn't want to get this. I had to save this for last because I really want your full attention right now. I want you to maybe go somewhere quiet, definitely have a pencil and paper and study what I'm about to tell you. Because this is some secret stuff right here, man. I mean, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. But I use it and it works, okay? Step one, the first basic in how to get everything that you want in your life. Step one, who do you listen to? Write that down. Who am I listening to? I'm going to elaborate. By asking yourself and by knowing, by being aware of who you are listening to, you are now putting yourself in control of the sweetest foundation that you have, which is your mind. You have to be aware of what you're putting into your head, the people that are teaching you, what they're teaching you. Be aware of them. Do your research. Find out where they've been, who they really are. Your teacher is who's going to be guiding you. Even me. I'm, you know, if I'm the only person you know that you have a little bit of hope with, do your research on me. Just do your research on who you're listening to because there's many ways to get to the top. There's many ways to accomplish troubles and, and triumph and tribulations. There's ways to get through it. Everybody has a way that is different. What works for this person might not work for that person. So you have to find someone that you relate to who has what you want, who's been where you want to go and emulate them. Do exactly what they tell you to do. Follow them, study them, and you will become that. Success leaves clues. Number two. All right, so number one was who do you listen to? Number two, training balance scale. The training balance scale is a scale with two sides on it. This is the motive. This is where our, our lives are proceeding from, okay? This is the basics. The training balance scale is the how and the why. Majority of people, most people are focused on the how. How am I going to do it? I don't have enough money. Who, who do I know? Where are my resources going to come from? Where's the money going to come from? How can I figure it out? It has to happen by this day. It's not going to happen fast enough. The list goes on. The list goes on. Do not, and I repeat, guys, do your best to trust me on this. If you if you follow me on YouTube, if you if you've been following me since day one, when I've just been I've just been doing my best to be the best thought leader out there to give you guys real effective information. Believe me when I tell you this, man. This is coming from my soul. Do not worry about the how. Success is not about the how. Trust me. Success is all about the why. And the training balance scale is the how and the why. And the reason why it's a scale, because 99.7% of all humans are, are focused and are sitting and leaning on the side of the scale that says how. Everyone's trying to figure it out. When you got a bunch of people trying to figure it out, it's easy to just walk right through the minutia and go right to the goal. And you can pick it up and you can take it and walk away. And no one would even notice because they're just a bunch of crabs in a bucket. Everyone's just trying to figure it out. Figure it out. There ain't no figuring it out. It's all about alignment. You have to put yourself mentally in that position so that it can come to you. And this is really important. You really have to know this. You have to put yourself in a position where you can receive these blessings. You can receive these goals because they're there. The only the only difference, the only separation, the only gap between where you are and your goals are all the things and all the barriers that you create and put in between that's stopping you and blocking you from getting you there. 99.7%, maybe even more of success occurs in the mind there's a way of thinking there's a way of feeling there's a way of being that you are just in alignment with when you are continuously putting positive things into your head into your life 
that make you feel good. The goal is to feel good. It will come to you when you feel good. One good thing will happen after another. Okay? Step one, who are you listening to? Pay attention to who you're listening to. There's a lot of people selling the, the messed up recipe out there. Number two, the training balance scale. Am I focused on the how or am I focused on the why? Do not focus on the how. Always be focusing on why do I need to be doing this? What's my goal? Bigger, 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 bigger. Just keep thinking bigger. Do not think about the how. I cannot stress it enough. You will never be able to figure that out. There are things aligned in, in the universe. There's people, the circumstances, there's so much things happening as we speak right now. Just why I'm creating this audio for you. There's so much happening right now that I can't even possibly fathom. There's no way I can promise you I'm, I'm going to be alive 20 minutes from now. No way. So how can I sit here? How can anyone sit here and worry about how? How can you sit there and worry about the, 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 the perfect way it's going to work when you don't even know if you're going to make it until tomorrow? The only guidance you have is your internal guidance system. It's your gut. You go with your gut. And you won't, you won't even be able to tap into that feeling or even hear your body while it's talking to you if you're not learning from the right people. Let's just go on. Step one, who are you listening to? Step two, the training balance scale. 99.7% of success happens all through thinking. All through thinking. Do not worry about the how. Number, number three, it's the four steps to learning new information. First of all, there's only two ways you can learn. There's only two ways you can learn the information that I'm providing to you. Two ways. All right. You can either stand next to me all day, follow me around and watch me do it. Or you can practice it yourself over and over again at the conscious competent level until you figure it out. You make your own mistakes. You break your own rules. You, you have your own trial and error, but you do get there. Or you stand next to me all day, you study me like a book, and you emulate every single thing that I do. You will learn. Both of those strategies are going to, are going to create neural pathways in your brain. You have neural pathways. It's little, it looks like dendrites. Like little, it looks like a tree. Okay, And you have all these little... These little neurons shooting and firing off at all these different directions. It creates memory. It's the reason why you could tie your shoe over and over again. Because you've just been doing it over and over again. Or you just watch someone do it over and over again. Okay? So the third step is the four steps of learning new information. The first step is unconsciously incompetent. I repeat, that's unconscious incompetence what unconscious incompetence means you don't know what you don't know so before i came here and i presented this information to you 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 probably didn't know that you didn't know some of the things that i said maybe you did maybe you didn't it depends on what level you are in the four steps but if you're at the basic visceral level unconscious incompetence is when you don't know that you don't know all right the second step is conscious incompetence conscious Incompetence means that you are now aware that you didn't know something. So that's probably where a lot of people, that's kind of where a lot of people get stuck. You know, they, they get put onto something. They're like, whoa, I never knew that. And then they kind of just dabble and float around in that area because they're not too curious to learn more. Find out where you are in the stages in your life and as, as far as what you're trying to learn or obtain. Okay. So the third step, so the first step in the four levels is unconscious incompetence. The second level is conscious incompetence. The third level is conscious competence. That means you know that you know. Okay? So maybe you can't m spit out a, an entire book in vernacular, I mean, verbatim, word for word, but you can probably pull it up quicker than anyone else can. You can probably search for it. You probably have, have it saved somewhere. You probably have already been through the, 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 the point where you've been training yourself. You've written notes about it. So all you may need is just a quick reminder. 
You know, it's not hard to do. It's not it's not like learning a new language at this point. You just probably need to check your notes every now and then. All right. That's consciously competent. That means, you know, that, you know, so you're practicing it at this time. You're living it at this time. But you have to keep going back to check yourself, to fine tune yourself. Right. The fourth level, the fourth level is really is, is probably where this is literally where it all happened. This is where you see success. When you see success, you see someone. They're definitely practicing this fourth level. And this fourth level is called unconscious competence. I repeat, that's unconscious competence. That means you don't even know that you know. That's when it's happening automatically. That's why when some, even if you listen to the way I speak, I'm not using a lot of ums and ahs and, and, and uh, you know, and coughing and, and stuttering over my words because I know what I'm talking about because it's unconsciously competent at this point. I've jammed it in my head. I practiced it. I practice it. I've embodied it. I live it. I preach it. I speak it. I go to sleep to it. I wake up to it. You can ask me any question about it. I can answer it. That's when things just start happening automatically to you. That's when your success just reigns over you. But you have to know where you are in these basics. You have to know where you are in these basics. And especially in the four steps. You have to know where you are so you're not cheating yourself or letting yourself down. Don't beat yourself up. If you're starting something new and you haven't figured it out yet, you're only three weeks in. You're like, why haven't I gotten this yet? I've been I just don't know why it's not working. Hey, you may be at the uh, at the conscious competent level. You know, you may have to still be putting this in your putting this in your head every now and then. You know what I mean? It's not automatic. So you have to just be aware. And that's my goal. All my books, all my videos, all my information that I provide to you is only to raise your awareness and to get you more than what you already have. The last basic to me is probably the most important basic, and that's called the Teachability Index. The only reason why you probably don't have what you want, if you don't have what you want, and you have to know what you want to know whether you have it or you don't have it. But if you don't have what you want, it's probably because you're not putting yourself in a position to get it. How teachable are you? You have to have not even half, you have to rate a 10 on teachability index. How teachable am I? How teachable am I? You have to have a high willingness to learn, a high willingness to accept change, or you'll never get to the next level. There's so many people that ask me, Jay, what kind of books do you read? Jay, how can I do this? Or what about that? And they can't even set their alarm clock to wake up at six o'clock in the morning. They have a low teachability index. They're not even willing to do the small work. You have to be willing to do the, the, the little job before the big job. And being open and being coachable and knowing your place, knowing that you are a student at all times. And when someone with a, in higher rank tells you to do something, depending on your teachability index, that's going to determine whether you execute or you don't execute. Think about it. Now, this is serious. This is for the uninitiated. Because if you were already initiated, you, you probably would rate about a 10. Yeah, probably about a 10 out of 10 on the teachability index. But ask yourself, how teachable am I? What am I willing to give up? This is how you can rate your teachability index. What am I willing to give up? How teachable am I? What am I willing to lose forever just to learn this piece of information? How teachable am I? Right? Sometimes you could be hearing a message from someone and it's like you don't like the person, but the message, something about the message. If you would just sit through it and just just power through it, fight it, you know, forget the voice, forget that it's it's an old man talking, forget that it's somebody stuttering. Just listen. How teachable am I? How teachable am I? High willingness to learn. High willingness to accept change. What are you willing to give up to become better? If you have a low teachability index, if you think you know this stuff, but you don't have the results to prove it, it's too obvious, man. It's just, it's just too obvious. Why sell yourself short? If you want to be more, then you have to do more. You have to give up more in order for you to get more. 
okay? Look at your life. Look at your future like marriage, yo. You're making a decision to lock yourself down to become a different person forever. It is that serious. Because there's so much benefits when you make it that serious. When you know consciously that you are willing to do whatever it takes to live a better life. To quit negative thinking. To quit miscellaneous activities. To quit hurting people. Hurting yourself. Indulging in bullshit every day. When you make a real decision to turn your back to all of those things. And to live a better life. A po an impactful life. And I'm not talking about starting a church or going out here preaching to the world or anything. But I'm talking about, man, if you like to wash cars, start a car wash. And don't care what no one tells you. If you like to draw, draw a picture. But you have to have a high willingness to learn from someone else that's been there. You have to have a high willingness to learn. You have to have a high willingness to accept change for those words to work out for you. Because if you just... Take If you're just hearing it, you're not listening. The words I speak may take five minutes to learn, but it's a lifetime to master, believe it or not. And with these basics that I laid out for you, they can get you everything that you want in life. I just know it. I just firmly believe it because I live it. And you can ask any successful person. They'll tell you the same words that I'm telling you. You get and you become what you think about. So let's just recap. Step one, who do you listen to? Step two, training balance scale. Step three, the four steps of learning new information. Step four, teachability index. And step five, repeat steps one through four. I will see you guys next time.